So one of the things we do uh, in class and in the field is we try to make sure spanning tree is stable if you in fact use it. Uh, in this particular trace I've got a spanning tree uh, capture. I just basically set up capture filter for spanning tree and I let the capture run for 500 packets. Uh, you don't need a whole lot of these uh, but if you did want to run this uh, for an extended capture it's just a one packet typically every two seconds so um, not a big uh, capture really. So here we go, we've got rapid spanning tree, that's what this says, and we can see um, all sorts of information that gets thrown out every two seconds. If you did want to validate what you did see, you could go to packet details, and if you just open up the spanning tree protocol header, you can see everything from the hello timer, which is two seconds, which you can see here. We've got the message age counter, which is how many switches we traverse to hear this uh, packet from our current location to the root. Uh, in this case, it's two hops away. If I was on the route, this would be a zero. So it's kind of nice uh, to get this for your orientation. We can see things like route identifier, so who's in charge, um, and then obviously the bridge identifiers, the uh, closest guy to the route that we hear. So this is good to hear, and, and then when we finally see one of these, you can just go through these and make sure that every two seconds, we've got all sorts of techniques to do that relatively quickly. One way is to just take this, throw it into Excel and graph it, uh, the other way is within Wireshark itself. You can go to I.O. Graphs. Let me just drag this guy back into here. And because they come out every two seconds and the interval here is every one second, uh, this accounts for the one here because, again, there's no two second interval. It's just a one second. So this is, again, fairly stable. I'm going to zip all the way to the left. And we can see that's pretty good. And as soon as you, oh, there's a spike right there. So if we click on that spike, I don't know if you noticed in the background, but now it's jumped up to that area and you can see there's a few things going on here. Again, we're expecting every two seconds to hear from our root bridge saying hello, hello, hello. Well, all of a sudden here, the root's changing, as you can see. So this gets to be uh, a fairly interesting exercise to go through because you need to know a few things about your network. You need to know what is the root bridge uh, MAC address, what is your root priority, uh, and that sort of thing because you can see here uh, the switch closest to me is now advertising or telling me about a different route and if we look at the previous one we can see the message age counter is two and now the message age counter is one so something is converging something is changing uh, with rapid spanning tree this change will happen uh, relatively quickly Nevertheless, uh, it's probably worth looking into, and a spanning tree analysis doesn't take very much, no spanning or mirroring required, and you'll probably find out a little bit about your network's stability without generating extra traffic. So that's it. Hope that helped. Have a good day. Bye for now.